If you're looking for a way to generate recurring revenue for your online business, then a membership program might be just the ticket. In this video, you'll learn exactly what steps you'll need to take to create a membership program on your WordPress website. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. Here is your friendly reminder to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So creating a membership site might sound like a daunting task, but the good news is that it's actually not that difficult and you can do it on your own WordPress website. And there's a lot of benefits to doing it this way. The main one being that you are in full control of everything. You can completely customize your membership experience to create a high value brand. You can tease your members only content to new visitors to entice them to join. And you can even display special offers to your existing members as a way of marketing your standalone products. So let me take you through an example of a membership site that you can create today using Thrive Apprentice. So let's start with the sales page for our membership program. This page was built using Thrive Architect, which comes with several sales page templates that are 100% customizable. Let's go ahead and make a purchase. So now we are taken to a checkout page. Let's go ahead and complete this form and let's complete our order. So now we've been taken to a confirmation page. This page comes from the payment processor that we're using, which is Thrivecart. So now let's go ahead and access our product. And we're taken to a page where we can access all of the membership content. Now at the top of the page, you'll notice that there's a My Account page, and this is where we can update things like our personal information, email address, etc. At the top of the page, there's also a Log Out button. Now, of course, with the membership site, people are going to be leaving our site and coming back later, so we also have a login page which has been customized to match our brand. All right, so let's go through the steps for creating this type of membership site on WordPress. The first step in creating your membership program is creating your membership content. Your membership product can include online courses, blog posts, and pages. So when you create your membership, you will need to decide, are there specific courses that are included in the membership program? Do I want to create specific blog posts that are for members only? And are there particular pages that only members can see? And so that means that you have a ton of flexibility to create the membership program that your audience needs. For example, you can create a membership for budding copywriters where you add a new mini course each month. So your membership might look like a collection of online courses in Thrive Apprentice, or you can create a membership where you interview successful entrepreneurs every month. In that case, you can place each new interview in a blog post and your membership is essentially a collection of blog posts. And if you want some of your blog posts to be publicly available for non-members, while the rest are available exclusively to members only, you can absolutely do that. So step one is taking the time to create your membership content, whether it's online courses, blog posts, or pages. So in today's example, our membership is going to consist of some interviews and an online course. So very quickly, let's create a blog post. I'll go to posts and add new. Let's give it a name. And then I'll go over here to the right and under categories, I will assign it premium interviews, which will only be available to members. Now we're also going to include a course in Thrive Apprentice. So let's head over there. I'll go to the Thrive dashboard and Thrive Apprentice. Now I've already got a course ready to go right here. If you still need to create your online course, simply click the add new course button and fill in the required information. All right, so after creating your membership content, you can move on to the next step. Step two is creating a product in Thrive Apprentice. So we are here in the Thrive Apprentice dashboard. Let's now go to the products tab and let's create a new product. So in the case of setting up a membership site using Thrive Apprentice, the product is your membership. So let's give this membership a name and then we will need to add content to our program. So let's say that our membership program consists of an online course, and also we are going to be doing some monthly interviews with successful affiliate marketers. To start off with, I've got three interviews done already, which are in the form of blog posts, and each blog post contains a video of the interview. 
So let's go ahead and add a course. Now you can select by topic, label, difficulty level, or author. Since I would like to select a specific course, I will choose select manually, and then I will select my course. Next, let's add our interviews. So I'll go to add other content. And looking at this list, you can see the different things that you can add to your membership if you like. We're going to choose blog post since our interviews are in the form of a blog post. And now you can specify exactly which posts to add. Since I will be adding more interviews to my membership program in the future, and I want those interviews to be protected automatically, meaning that I don't want to have to come back here and individually add every single blog post every time a new one is published, I'll simply protect all blog posts in a specific category. And so that is why I made sure to choose a particular category for my posts in the previous step. So I'll go ahead and select category and then I'll select premium interviews as my category. When you're finished adding the necessary content, you can move on to the next step. Step three is specifying the purchase requirements for your membership program. So how can people purchase your program? So we are here in the access requirements tab for our product. And in order to see the options you're seeing here, such as Thrivecart, you will need to connect your API key first. And that's really easy to do. We do have videos on how to connect SendOwl and Thrivecart to Thrive, which we will link below. By the way, Thrivecart is not a Thrive Themes product, they just happen to have a similar name. So you'll need to go to the Thrive Apprentice Settings tab, then go to API Keys, and you can go ahead and add a new API. You can go ahead and give your key a name, and then after you save this API key, you can copy this and paste it into the appropriate area in either SendOwl or Thrivecart. After doing that, when you come back to Thrive Apprentice, you can go back to your product and go to the Access Requirements tab. And let's say you're using Thrivecart, then you will see the Thrivecart option here. And that's it. We've left you a little note here to remind you that Thrive Apprentice course access is handled inside of your Thrivecart account. Next, if you have any courses included in your membership, you can select a drip schedule. If you're not familiar with drip scheduling, it's essentially scheduling the delivery of your course content in chunks so that not all of it is available all at once. So for example, you might drip one module per week or one lesson every three or four days. Dripping your course content does have many advantages one of them being that if your course is very long, it helps prevent your students from being overwhelmed with the material. But on the other hand, it also means that those who want to learn at their own pace can't do that. So it's up to you to decide if drip scheduling is right for your course. So right now I'm in the drip tab for the membership that I'm creating. I've got one course that I will be including in my membership, which is listed here. So now I can go ahead and create a new drip schedule for this course. So that took me to the drip tab for my particular course, and I can go ahead and create a new drip campaign. To help you get started, we do have some drip templates here. Evergreen repeating means that each user's drip schedule is different and based on when the user purchases the course or starts the course. You can also do a scheduled repeating campaign with this type of campaign, the content is locked at the same time for everyone on a schedule of your choosing. You can also do a day of the week or month campaign. So for example, you can drip content every Tuesday or you can do the first of every month. You can also drip on specific dates and you can also start from scratch without any predefined settings or with Thrive Automator Unlock, you can use website events or third-party integrations to unlock content. So think about how you would like to deliver the content inside of your online course and create your drip schedule. We do have more information on using these drip campaign templates, which we will link below. Now, one of the innovative features about Thrive Apprentice 4.0 is decoupled drip. This means that you can create multiple drip campaigns for each course. This makes it really easy to create a drip schedule just for your membership that's different from the drip schedule you might use when you sell the standalone course without the membership. So you can go back to the drip tab and create as many drip schedules as you like. After creating your drip schedule, make sure that you go back to your product, go to the drip tab, 
and select the drip schedule for your course that you will be selling with your membership. And as far as your membership content goes, that is all you have to do. So let's move on to protecting your content and creating the other elements necessary to run a membership site. Next, you'll need to create a custom header for your membership area because your students will need to be able to access their profile and change their password, as well as log out of your membership. So you'll need to create a header for your protected pages and courses that's different from your regular website header. In this example, we have a custom header that links to a My Account page. On this page, your members can update their profile, and we also have a log out button. We do have a video on creating these elements, so we'll be sure to link it for you below. Next, you'll need to create a page that contains links to all of your membership content, such as the one shown here. That way, your members will know exactly what their membership includes and they'll have a place to go to access it. Now, creating a membership content page is really very easy. Simply create a new WordPress page and then you can use the post list element and the course list element to place your membership content on the page. Both of those elements have the ability to filter by category or topic. And so, for example, you can assign posts to a specific category just for your membership and display only posts that belong to that category on this page. Visit our knowledge base for more detailed information on the course list and post list elements. Next, you'll need to create a login page such as this one so that your members can log into your site and access the membership content. To create your login page, go to the settings tab in Thrive Apprentice, then go to login and access restriction, and then you can create a login page. To customize it, click edit with Thrive Architect. You can create a gorgeous branded login page by starting with one of our pre-built landing page templates. As you can see, there are several designs to choose from. And after selecting a template, you can customize the design by changing the fonts, colors, images, spacing, and more. Next, you'll need to set your access restriction rules. So think about these three scenarios. What do you want to happen when someone who does not have access to your membership tries to access your membership content? What do you want to happen when someone who tries to access your membership content is not logged in? And what do you want to happen when someone who tries to access locked content that is drip feed protected? Now, Thrive Apprentice has global settings that apply to all of your online courses. So if you want all of your courses to behave the same way in regards to these three scenarios, then you can set them up by going to Thrive Apprentice and the settings tab, then go to login and access restriction. Now you can also set up custom settings for each of your Thrive Apprentice products. And so you can do that by going to a particular product and then going to the access restriction rules tab for that product. Now, in particular, when someone who does not have access to your membership tries to access members only content, that is a really great opportunity to redirect people to your sales page. So I would recommend creating a custom page just for that purpose. And you can actually create that page from here and edit it with Thrive Architect to customize it. So let's take a look at our example. And if I click this button here, this will take people to the sales page where people can sign up to purchase the membership. All right, so now that you've created all of the inner workings of your membership site, you'll need to create the pages necessary to sell your membership program. So here is a look at an example of a sales page that was created in Thrive Architect. Now Thrive Architect comes with dozens of pre-designed templates that you can use for sales pages, confirmation pages, and more. And they're all completely customizable so you can change the fonts, colors, spacing, images. You can delete sections, add sections, and more. We do have a premium course on how to create a high converting sales page, so be sure to check it out. Next, you'll need to set up your payment processor. You can use Thrivecart, SendOwl, or WooCommerce to take payment for your membership program. We do have videos in our knowledge base on integrating with each of these options. You can also refer to the knowledge base provided by your chosen processor for more information. 
Next, you'll need to create a checkout page. So here is an example of a checkout page that was created in Thrive Architect. Starting with a blank page, the sidebar was created using the elements in Thrive Architect. Now for the checkout form here, that will come from your payment processor. So first you will need to set up a product in your chosen payment processor. So let's go ahead and get rid of this here and let's go to Thrive Cart. And here we have my product. Let's go ahead and get the embed code and let's hop back over to Thrive Architect. Then let's use the WordPress content element. I'll simply click and drag that into place. Then make sure that you are in the text tab and you can simply paste in the code. Now the checkout form may not appear immediately. Simply save the page and when it refreshes, the checkout form should appear. And there we have it. After going through these steps, you can now start selling your membership program and hopefully the revenue will start rolling in. But remember, as a marketer, it's super important that you've got solid sales funnels to keep your membership program going. We do have a video on how to market your membership site, which we will link below. So now that your membership program is ready to go, if you haven't already figured out your marketing funnels, that should be your next step. You'll need to put together things like a landing page for an email opt-in, a confirmation page, etc. And you can do that using Thrive Architect, which is part of Thrive Suite. Now, if you don't have Thrive Suite yet, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.